I didn't even know how she sang that though. That was crazy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another reaction video. My name is Judith Vestro. This is a Patreon request of Dream On by Postmodern Jukebox featuring Morgan James. I'm excited to watch this. If you want to go request any musical reaction, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon and you can do that. I will watch anything, even if it's super obscure music that no one will know. But also go listen to my new song. There's no boats in the city, there's no concrete skies. I released it, it's on every platform. It's called Painting. I would really appreciate you very much. Support me, thank you with my music. Let's go on with the video. Let's pause really fast. I love her voice. It's so soulful and intentional, and it seems so effortless for her to sing like this. Like it seems like she just walked up and she's singing from like her soul, and she is doing it with complete ease. So I am so impressed already by her, and I love like the kind of jazzy elements as well, and just her attack. Like everything is just so good. I love the arrangement too, like it's just such a reimagined version of the Aerosmith song, but anyways. Black dusk to dawn. Isn't that the way? So, okay, I'm so sorry to pause again. Her vibrato is just so controlled and intentional. Like, I love everybody I feel the way. Like, it's just very clean, controlled, and tasteful. And I love, love. To lose to know how to win. So good. I love how they dipped out for that part and let her kind of have her shine and moment. And I love like the the even the way that she says her words, like so the I like ah the kind of Amy Whitehouse esque, but she just is so I feel like she's just expertly expertfully using her voice in a way that's really engaging to the listener because she's like trying different techniques and like her overall tone is just really gorgeous. How to win. You got to lose to know how to win. Lived and learned from fools and from sins. 
talk about this whole thing. She's so good. Like there's no strain on her voice. Her notes are so clean and she knows where she's going with everything. And like, I love the little, oh, where is it? voice sounds like kind of dark too because it sounds pretty deep and nice at some points I love how her attack is so clean but then she like has these little runs at the end like it's just really really good and very tasteful like we're not running up and down the 5,000 steps and whatever like I hate when runs are just like too much but I love these tasteful ones. They're also kind of relying on her tone to just sound really interesting. Like so good technically, like basically technically perfect, right? Like I I have no words. Oh my gosh, I keep on putting the subtitles on an accident. Genuinely, I'm shook because she makes it look so insanely easy. Lived and learned from fools and from sages. You know it's true. Also, her her um, body is emulating kind of her notes a little bit to kind of help her place where her voice is gonna go, and also it kind of makes it interesting to watch. But so good. Oh! I'm shook. Such a great voice. And then everything dips out. love her in general she's so stunningly beautiful and like looks so classy and cute i'm obsessed with her but i really love how intentional she is with every note she's singing every word she's saying like you can tell from her stance like the way she's kind of gaining strength from kind of like anchoring herself in a certain way and it's just so easy for her it looks like a walk in the park to sing this song but it's like actually so vocally um difficult to do this but I also love the instruments behind it like it's very stripped down but in a way that I think makes this makes her shine as well I love the staccato elements when we kind of get to that chorus while she's like holding these really long notes like it makes it sound really interesting behind her like it kind of sounds it makes her sound like a little bit more desperate and a little bit more uneasy but really interesting anyways I love this part too it's such a pretty voice richness in her voice is just so it does not go over my head like it just sounds very rich and very like anchored like she just seems like she has a lot of breath support knows exactly where she's singing like her higher belt it just sounds so supportive like really full like not thin at all and I love like the, the fist clenching like it really is funny to me because you can tell that she's really feeling it and I think it maybe helps her kind of like get into the mindset and maybe get to those notes physically but anyways
was crazy. It was like kind of like falsetto like belted, but that was crazy. Oh my gosh. Cause I was like, how is she going to go higher than this? I don't even know. But yeah, I love her intensity with the singing as well. Like she's really, really, really resonating with this moment right now. Okay. I also love when her voice kind of like gets kind of like growl and raspiness when she kind of is like putting that more intensity. We've experienced that before, but that's something I forgot to mention. Yeah, I don't even know how she got like somehow to have vibrato on that. Yeah, I can't even sing that high. I mean, I'm not even going to try, but wow. That vocal technique in that range. Sing with me. Sing for this. Sing for the laughter. Sing for the tears. Sing with me if just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you. That really short softer section like I always love like a softer vocalist as well that was really stunning just the way that she kind of transitioned out of it was like she was the vocal vocal forefront I mean not vocal forefront more like the forefront in general of that moment but it was just really tastefully done sing with me if just for today maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you away So simple but I love like that those vocal choices like the slight little runs and just ending it on that high kind of falsetto note I just thought it was like, vocally that was like a really expertly maneuvered section I think like it accomplished its goal and it just sounded really stunningly gorgeous like pure and beautiful Let me bring it out everyone the band is so good too like the piano is really great Oh, what a queen Miss Morgan James is. My gosh. I loved overall everything. I loved the arrangement with the strings. I loved how the percussion was kind of more minimal, but it really added so much. Like if we would have taken out the drums, I think it would have kind of had some missing space. The piano was so stunning too. Like I didn't love the stripped down version of the song. <laughs> I think Morgan James is like, definitely she is the vocal point for me. Like she's what really resonated with me the most. Like just her vocal performance, like the the ease, the emotional connectivity, her tone is beautiful. Like her vocal technique is beautiful. I love how it wasn't just all super belty. Like there was moments of softness that I think really made it resonate more with me. Like if it was just all belting and like the whole time it would have been a little bit much but I liked this new direction this new approach and this take on the song but yeah I really like her she I like her energy as well like she's very classy beautiful soulful jazzy and just great tone great tone if you want to subscribe to my patreon or listen to my music you should listen to my music painting Andrea Silvestro on everything feel free to subscribe to my patreon if you want me to watch any musical performance. It could even be something that no one knows. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cause there's no boats in the city. There's no concrete skies. Palm trees will not survive. We travel.